My dear young ones, I want to welcome you, thank each and every one of you for coming, answering the call to come and be with us today to celebrate the spirit of wild salmon. The wild salmon is so precious to all of the people, all of the birds, all of the animals, the bears, the wolves, and even the big orcas and other, many other species. And we all want to thank you because you have it in your heart to give a cultural expression about how you value the spirit of wild salmon, I want to thank all the teachers who have brought you here to celebrate the spirit of wild salmon with us. I'm going to ask our, our chief, the chief of the Shui village, <coughs> Robert Gladstone, see him. You can share a few words of welcome. We'll see you. Good morning, everyone. Boys and girls, children, elders, respected ones. I'm Robert Gladstone. My traditional name is Skalaigiwa. I am the chief of this village. But it's very important to also recognize my my partners in crime, my partners in government. My title is chief, but the reality is I'm just part of a leadership team. And this leadership team consists of these two you see with me, my sister Bonnie Russell, my brother Ronnie McGill. It's important to always remember a good lesson in life for us today is to remember you're only as strong as your weakest link. You're only as strong as those around you. Nobody stands alone. Nothing in the world can be accomplished by yourself. It takes a team, it takes a village, and that's what we are. Boys and girls around you today, cough the sea samaya. There's lots of bees here. It's the end of the summer, so be careful. Uh, just keep an eye out. The bees are around. It's the end of season. It's just nature's way. They're getting ready to uh, put up for the winter. They're looking for food, so they're really active. So just be careful. I want to thank you all for coming here, for being in our Shui village. We've been supporters of Save the Wild Salmon. We've been supporters of anything salmon. I think I would have, I was thinking about it this morning. I wanted to share with you all, especially you young people, that today we aren't just fighting for the salmon, we're fighting for our way of life. We're fighting for a way of life. We're fighting for a way of life that we knew as children here in this village. There was a time here in this village, and I've told this story many times, and I'll tell it again and again till the day I die, that when we were children like yourselves, we were very poor. We didn't have much in the way of worldly goods and money and dollars and computers and, and all that stuff. But what we did have is we had grandmothers who had lots of knowledge and teachings and, and taught us the language and songs and stories and history. And although we didn't have Nintendos and cameras and all these worldly goods, we felt rich. We felt rich because of the way of life that we had. It was our native way of life. We had elders who loved us, elders who made us feel secure, elders who made us feel loved and cared for and they shared with us much. That's what Save the Wild Salmon means to us. It's starting with one thing, as our anchor, protecting it so that everything else will remain intact. It's our hope that you children, especially you children who grow up in, in a world that is full of the bounty of the earth and healthy environment and these sorts of things. That we'll Save the Wild Salmon is about the future. It's, 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 it's not even just about us anymore. It's, it's about you children and the people that come after you. We're hoping to protect what we have left. We're doing our little part from this village to try to help Eddie Gardner save the wild salmon. My chief from uh, Campbell River helped me. I was, my brain goes blank. George Crook Sisters Jr. George Sisters Jr., my friend from the Sea Shepherd Adventures. We're doing our little part to help out. You'll see that my brain goes blank. It's part of getting older. It'll happen to you. <laughs> We just want to thank you. I'm going to ask my sister if she wants to say a few words, and, and Ron as well. They're always standing with me. They're always standing with you. They're always supporting in the background, and uh, we're happy to have you here. We want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts once more. And uh, this is a great pleasure to have you here. 
that you can receive no blessing in life. And I'm talking to you children. You can receive no blessing in life. You can receive or achieve nothing if you do not give of yourself. This means that anything you want in life, you have to be able to give of yourself, either of your time, your work, support, or any cause. Today we've helped provide a little bit of a meal, and we hope it's gonna nourish you, not only in body, but it's gonna nourish you in spirit. It's going to give you strength. For the wild salmon protectors, that's the most important thing we want to say, and I think it's what we try to do for you. We try to give you a little bit to strengthen you up, to carry you on your journey, to do your work. We thank you for being here. I recognize my brother Ronnie over there. He's always there doing great work. George Fox sister, and all of you. Yelta Kwasai, welcome to our village.